everybody. Hello, Ben. Yes, I know. Go lay down. Um, good morning, everybody. It's a bit like Christmas here right now. Um, I've received a bit of a package from Speedy Snail Mobility. And I just want to say a huge thank you to Shannon Arnold down at Speedy Snail. Um, it was formerly Mobility Solutions, but he's now um, working under Speedy Snail Mobility. Um, they're based in Dunedin. They have a whole heap of innovative and adaptive um, mobility equipment, um, such as these side sticks, which we're going to unbox officially shortly. Um, I've been sitting on these for three hours, kind of before um, I've opened them, so you guys can get the, the real taste kind of um, unboxing. So Speedy Snail, they do a heap of really cool gear and things like the tracked wheelchairs, the rewalk, suspension wheels, um, some pretty cool seating arrangements, um, just a whole lot of stuff. Um, they've got training fitness, um, hand crank, leg crank um, equipment as well. I've found Shannon and the crew down there really, really easy to work with. And a huge thank you to them. Um, this is a sponsored video, if you couldn't tell. So a huge shout out to Speedy Snail in Dunedin. Um, their website is www.speedysnailmobility.co.nz. So go check them out. Have a look at some of the equipment because for me, these crutches I think are going to be life changing and you know, I'm all about getting people out and into the outdoors and Shannon and Speedy Snail have a whole range of equipment to help you do that. So I guess without me talking any further, um, we're just going to rip into it really, unbox these um, side sticks. I've got a few of the additional accessories that you can get with the side sticks. And I'll explain them as we go. So, here we go. Yeah, you can tell it's a full unboxing because I haven't opened it yet. Ben, go lay down. Ben, over there. Get out of my shop. Ben just thinks it's all for you. Speedy Snail vouchers, uh, brochures, so if you want some information, hit me up, you know how to get a hold of me. No, they're not for you. And hey, it all comes in its own side sticks bag. So we've got the side sticks logo on there. Oh, better get that out of the shot. Ben has to have a, a sniff, because, you know, it... Might involve him, and it will involve you, just not quite yet. So here we go. Cool, so we've got some information in here. Um, we'll have a look at this bit in a minute. The warranty. Oh, some more information on some of the accessories warranty, how to set a whole lot of bits and pieces up, um, including the crutches themselves. So the key difference between the side sticks and the other crutches I've had, which are the Comfies from Kubro, um, is they're one piece and the Boundless, which is the ones that I've purchased from Speedy Snail, um, are carbon fibre. So they're way, way lighter than the standard aluminium. Um, we've got bits and pieces for miles. Um, we've got quite a large brochure for on side sticks as well. And the other good thing about the side sticks is they're fully customizable. So you can change out the type of cuffs you have. You can change out the type of grips that you have. Um, the tips on the end, and I'll show you a bit more about those as we, we go on. So I've got two different types of tips here already. 
bubble wrap for miles. Packaging. Oh, more bits. More bits. We'll just get rid of some of that packaging into the box. that the slide sticks come with are some tools. <coughs> um, we've got what they call the side sticks grip, um, the Allen key, and some stuff for maintaining one of the, um, the tips that you can put on them. So we'll have a bit more of a look at them soon. But here they are. So what I've got here is the Boundless, and you'll notice that they have the ergonomic handle, um, and we've already got the, the covers for them, and that's going to be a nice grip. Um, underneath these covers, it just looks like this, um, and the beauty about these is you can actually rotate the grip themselves. So some people prefer a 90 degree. And I'll have a bit of a play on what angle that I really like um, once we've put them together. I'm not going to actually video the specific adjustments for me. Heaps better if you go over and have a look at the side sticks um, YouTube video on that. Um, I'm just going to put them together today and show you some of the accessories that we've got with them. What works for me may not work for somebody else. So I don't want to lead you astray on how to set them up. Just pop this back on. Beauty about this is I can take them off, wash them. Um, if you're going out hiking, you're going to get sweaty. And um, just be nice to be able to wash them from time to time. You know, the grips on my, my comfy crutches or the pacer poles that I've been using over the years, you know, they get a bit grubby. They really, really do. So, oh, where did I put my knife? Here we go. Face. One of the cool things that I liked about the side sticks was the cuff and the, the insert and the, the gap in the cuff. So these have a not horrible um, buffer just to protect your arms a little bit. And they just come in and out. But what I really liked about these is the side the side cut, um, having the front cut like most um, crutches, I find that they sometimes fall off. Whereas these, I can actually reach up and do stuff without having to worry about my crutches falling off and then having to pick them up again. Um, so you will have noticed this insert here, that's actually the shock absorber. And I don't know whether you can see that or not on the, on the camera. Um, but they have a bit of a rebound on them and you can actually adjust that I'm not going to yet I'll have a bit of a play later but that is going to save my shoulders a whole heap of stress um, moving forward in the future um, I may end up swapping what cuff with whether I have the, the cuff insert um, whether I want it on the inside of my arm or the outside of my arm and that's perfectly up to, to each individual user as well and Fairly easy fix, they've just got a, an Allen key here um, that you can un undo, do up, and that also allows you to adjust how much or how, yeah, how flippy these are really. So we've got the boundless, we've got the, um, 
the main part really. The other thing I like about the, the side sticks is you haven't got the pins that go through your crutches um, for the, the height adjustment. My old crutches are so what have been used so well that that pin adjustment has actually turned into ovals. Um, you can hear me coming a mile off on them. Um, here, let me show you. So, where this pin adjustment is, here. Um, you know, as you can see, they are no longer round. They are an oval. So you can actually hear me coming a mile off, they're clunky, you know, there's a bit of wiggle room in them these days. And the bonus with the side sticks is it's all done by C clamps. Um, I'll take the so much packaging guys, but all good. Um, I'm glad they packaged them well because they had to come in from Canada. So um, speedy snail, I'm absolutely amazed and stoked at how quickly they got here. So thank you um, to Shannon and the team for getting these here before summer really hits and that means I can get out and use them. Um, the only problem is I've had a bit of bronchitis so it's put a bit of a dampener on my adventuring. Um, but as soon as I'm over that, I'll be out there. Oh, why am I closing that? I'm trying to go very, very carefully so I don't damage the finish. I know they're going to get hammered in the outdoors, but I'd rather not damage them before I'm out there using them, really. You can hear the odd tail wag in the background. Into this stuff in a, in a few minutes. So on these, I've got what's called the tornado tip. Um, rubber, they've got a bit of a wiggle in them um, to provide a bit of that rotation when you're out and about walking. High quality, full on, um, but I've got some pretty exciting other tips to go on that I want to show you too. So assembly is pretty easy. Oh, looks like I have to undo the, the clamp a little to start with. like that and the videos always say make sure you do them hand tight and then a quarter turn Tight. So, that's the side sticks. Um, I'll get up and, and adjust them sh shortly to, to how I like, um, both with the angle of the, um, the grip, but also the actual height of the, of the crutches. The problem I had quite a lot of the time with um, other types of crutches as well is that because I'm kind of short, I fell between the paediatrics and the adult size crutches. So there were times that we had to butcher a pair of, of paediatric crutches and 
pair of adult crutches to actually get something that will fit for me. The side sticks get made to measure. So this length here, um, your OT will, put, will measure you up and then they will make this section here to measure. Um, so it's perfect for you. So some of the other things that we've got in is all these fancy tips for going out and about. Um, first ones I'm going to show you are the rotating feet. And again, more packaging. But that's all good. It keeps them safe. The beauty about the rotating feet is literally that they act like a knuckle. I don't know if you can see that well from that shot. <laughs> so they act like a knuckle which provides a lot more traction on different terrain. So that's the rotating feet. To swap these in and out is a pretty simple job. Undo the C-clamp. Ooh, that one's done it tight. Which is good, because it means it's not going to slip. And then adjust to the height that you need. I haven't had a play with them, so I haven't figured out which of the, the notches that I need to set to yet. So we'll have a bit of a play in a bit off camera. Just going to take these out again to show you some of the other tips that we've got. reasons that I picked side sticks were for, were for the adaptability and the different types of, of tips you can get. Um, they have what's known as the sand shoe assembly which is really good for hiking in muddy and, and gnarly terrain um, which is what we have here in, in, the, in New Zealand in general. Um, they have the, the hiking tip as you can see it's got little um, Tips on them, kind of like, kind of like um, sprigs on your rugby boot or your football boot, um, just to provide a, a bit more more traction in the gnarly stuff. So, what I can do with these rotating feet? Um, so these, the 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 element, uh, yeah, I think these are aluminium uh, for the sh sand shoe assembly um, and as you can see this gives you a far bigger surface area um, which is always handy in the mud um, and being in New Zealand we have a lot of mud to contend with so I picked up a set of those they also do a snowshoe assembly which are, are larger again um, thought I'd, I'd try it with these see what happens with these ones um, and if I decide to do any crazy winter stuff in the future I'll, I'll look at picking up the, the, uh, the snowshoe as well so guys um, hiking tips sand shoes rotating uh, feet the boundless oh I've only put one of them together oh I took the feet off um, all great accessories, can't wait to have a bit of a play, get out and use them. Hey everybody, I've had the side sticks a couple of weeks now and I am absolutely loving them. One of the first things I did was um, change the, the cut-in for the cuffs to the outside of my arm. Um, I found I was catching it on my clothing, so it was a fairly easy fix. Just undid the cuff on, on both sticks, swapped them over, put the screw back in. Um, getting used to the shocks has been um, a little bit interesting, it's changed my gait slightly um, so all my timing has changed very very slightly. I did notice that they are way too spongy for around town just day to day stuff if you have all of the rebound ready to go so kind of just fiddling around, find the, 
finding the best spot um, and kind of the sweet spot for me in town with the suspension um, and I'm sure that will change slightly as we head outdoors. Um, the grips, um, loving having the extra cushioning and I am, am probably going to enjoy being able to take them off and uh, wash the, the covers. Um, I've, I've been playing and tweaking with the angle um, of, of the grip itself. I found if I turned it out too far I almost felt like I was sliding off the edge. So there's been a bit of tweaking on that one as well. Um, with the tips, I am currently rocking around on the rotating feet, which I've really enjoyed. Um, again, it may have changed my gait very slightly, so still adjusting to some of that. Um, but I even noticed that it gives you some rotation in your general walking, um, rather than the, you've got to be very less accurate, I guess, um, with the tips than, than a standard set of crutches. I'm going to try out the tornado tips around town probably in the next couple of weeks um, and just to have a look at what the differences are. I am really looking forward to hitting the trails next week, trying the hiking tips and depending on the track conditions, the sand shoe assembly um, and just getting out on the trail and, and feeling what they're like. Um, so a huge thank you to Speedy Snail um, down in Otago for, for sponsoring um, a set of these for me, it's going to open up some huge doors. So once again a big, big thank you to Shannon and the team at Speedy Snail. I also want to thank the Epic Studios team. And always remember, thrive, not survive.